Hey, what's happening guys? We are back with part two of the wireless weather station. And today we're going to take our RF transmitter and our receiver and add to them a quarter wavelength antenna. Now, according to this page, our antenna needs to be about eight point nine inches long so I have cut some 22 gauge solid core wire now if I can get it to straighten itself out here <laughs> it's about 8.9 inches and for those of you of the metric persuasion that's going to come in to be about 23 centimeters. Alrighty. So, let's get ready and solder these antennas in. Zoom in here. Come on, there we go. So I've got the Zenny 937D Heiko clone soldering iron, all nice and ready to go. Clean off the tip there. You always wanna be working with a clean tip. And that just doesn't, um, Count for soldering either. Let's see, how am I going to hold this in here? I think if I grab her like this, kind of prop the wire under here, I should be able to hold it. Maybe if I do this, I know you can't see what I'm doing. I'm just tucking the wire underneath the uh, helping hand stand. There we go. All right, and tin the tip of my iron just a little bit. Helps with the old thermal transfer. that little nipple there there's the transmitter good to go now we've got to do the receiver ah uh, somebody has filled up the antenna hole let me grab another receiver right, the I'll antenna right hole on this one is all good Come on. There we go. Okay. Now we've got our antenna is soldered. Let's grab the receiver board here. I'm gonna bend my antenna up. Why you no go in? Okay, so there's the receiver. Now let's do the transmitter. 
Again, bend my antenna up. We want it to be vertical. And now we're ready to do some tests. Okay, pardon me, I don't have my microphone on right now. So I have to talk a little bit louder and that's because I'm gonna be moving around. So our first test is just to make sure everything still works after we soldered the antennas on. So everything is powered up. And no, everything is not working. So I need to check okay. this out and I'll be back. After a little bit of experimentation, I found out it was the transmitter that was not transmitting and uh, this is the one that I used here and I, I don't know what it, what it was um, anyway I just replaced it with another one good thing they're only 50 cents a piece and we are about to go on the move we're gonna leave the transmitter station here and we're going to take the receiver with us and as long as we see that yellow light blinking we will know that we're receiving data all right let's go all right guys we are in my kitchen about 30 feet away and you can see we are still receiving data now let's head outside all right now we are on my back porch so we're going through a couple of walls and we're about 50 feet away. Everything still seems good. And now we are uh, way out in my backyard, actually in my driveway where I parked the car, about 100, 150 feet away from the house. And that range is going to be perfect for me, so I'm very satisfied with this. All right, I've hooked up the oscilloscope to the receiver and the transmitters. The green is the receiver and the yellow is the transmitter. So as we watch this, you can see the traces of green, garbage, 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 boom, signal lock. Let's see if I can uh, get it to trigger. There we go. Now we can actually see the signal itself as it's being triggered. Let's hit it again. There. So you can see the yellow, which is the transmitter and the green which is the receiver so this is working uh, pretty well but you see all the garbage being picked up in between the transmissions boom boom okay well that is it for our antenna experiment for today I am going to move on to getting the uh, TFT LCD ready.